What's up guys, we're back and we're looking at some more NBA player props in today's video. Got a pretty good run going right now in these free play videos. We've cashed three of our last four plays. Should be 4-0 though. AO yesterday, man. He cashed in every single game this year with 15 plus field goal attempts, but not yesterday. Unfortunate luck yesterday, but I'm hoping we get that Sunday sweep today. Let's hop in and hopefully catch some winners. This video is for everywhere, by the way, no matter where you guys are. Prize picks, sleeper, or sports book, it does not matter wherever you guys are. I got you guys covered with my favorite NBA plays for today. We're going to get to those free plays in just a second, but before we do so, if you guys have not already, check out the Dub Club. The Dub Club, you guys can get in right now with a two-day free trial, so why not just check it out? It's two days for free. Link for that is down in my description below. But if you don't know how Dub Club works, it sends all the plays that I make straight to your phone through the Dub Club app, email, Telegram, or Discord. I'm very, very reputable. I've been on prize picks for a while now, and I went up over $5,700, as you guys can see right there. I've been on Sportsbook as well, also winning there, profitable there as well. I've just consistently been profitable. I mean, that's a straight up receipt right there. It's not a manipulated pick here where you can change the unit sizes. That's just a straight dollar amount from prize picks customer support. MLB, by the way, is right around the corner, six days. I'm extremely excited for that because I was a top five to 10% better last year per picket in the MLB. So right now is one of the best times to join. Make sure you guys do so. Two day free trial down in my description below. That will also get you access to my Discord chat. So two day free trial for the Dub Club down in my description below. Why not just check it out? It's two days for free. Do that. Link is down there in my description. Also, if you're not already on Chalkboard, you can join right now with the link down in my description using promo code DUMG. This entry today that I'll be giving you guys is a 3.1x on Chalkboard compared to like a 3x on prize picks. So really good value right now on Chalkboard. Go ahead and join this. Some really cool categories on this board. I have not seen any other DFS player prop sites offer first basket, first rebound, first assist on the board. There's first basket around here somewhere. I'm not sure if they're up yet, but uh, they do a first rebound and first assist up and usually they do a first basket on the board as well. So a lot of cool categories on chalkboard. Make sure you guys check it out. Use promo code DOMG. Link is down in my description. Finally, just play responsibly and at your own risk. Subscribe to the channel. I really would appreciate it. Leave a like and have those post notifications turned on so you guys do not miss future uploads. You can get in before some of these lines move. The first player prop that I like today, though, is going to be Tyrese Halliburton. Over 10 and a half assists. Running this one back. We just played this uh, just the other day, I think like two videos ago uh, when he last played, and he ended up cashing for us. Hoping he can do the same again today. He is at 10 and a half on prize picks at the time of the post in the dub club and at the time of this recording. Hopefully he stays there. All right, let's look at why I like Tyrese Halliburton today and his over 10 and a half assists. This right here is the props.cash tool that I use for pretty much all my player prop research here. But he's over in 62% of games so far this season. But if you look at more of his last 10 games here, you can see that he's consistently been playing 30 plus minutes. I'm assuming he's going to see that today as long as it is not a blowout, which I'm not really expecting. This game, by the way, also has the highest over under on the entire NBA slate at 240 and a half. But when he sees 30 plus minutes, he's over in 72% of games. Awesome hit rate right there when he sees his full potential of minutes. Just need this game to stay close and not be a blowout, which yesterday there were quite a few blowouts. But uh, also when he's on the road, that goes up to 76%. He's going to be on the road today playing in Los Angeles. And also in games where they win, he's over in 76% of games. Although I think the Lakers might be favored by three points in this one. It only drops down a couple right there, 5% hit rate there when he's uh, in a loss. But uh, also with one day of rest though, it goes up crazy. He's over in 86% of games with 30 plus minutes and one day of rest. He's been absolutely on fire when he just is on that one day of rest. So I love the spot today for Tyrese Halliburton there. Uh, he's played the Lakers twice, uh, really just not this year though. He's played them twice in the last, uh, well, these were both last season. He had 14 and 12 assists against them in those two games, but he has not played them this season at all. So love the spot here for him though. I think the matchup should be pretty good here into the Lakers. They haven't really played too many point guards that are like those high assist guys. I mean, you have guys like even Trent Forrest here with a line of two and a half assists. He had six against them. But you have like Tyrese Maxey here, who only had three assists against them. But otherwise, you scroll down here, you have Demon Lillard here with a six and a half assist line. He was able to drop 12 against them, and that was just, you know, two weeks ago. But yeah, otherwise, they haven't really played any guys with like a high assist line, like a Fred Van Vliet or anything like that. So kind of hard to judge how good they'll be against point guards. But this year against point guards, they actually have been giving up quite a few assists. They allow the ninth most assists per game to opposing point guards at 9.04. And in the last seven games, they have been a little bit better. They were still kind of in the middle of the pack, though, allowing 8.23 assists per game to pose your point guards. Like the spot I do for Tyrese Halliburton, I don't mind his points plus assist either at 29 and a half. I think this spot could be pretty good as well. He's been a little bit more aggressive shooting as of late uh, with everyone dissing him online probably. But uh, I love the spot for his assist today over 10 and a half. I think he can grab 11 for us today. He's got a great track record in away games and also with one day of rest. I think you can go over here. I'd like the matchup here against the Lakers as well. Should be a pretty good spot. Just going to run it back here with Tyrese Halliburton over 10 and a half assists. If you like this tool I'm using right now, by the way, it's called Props.Cash. You can get it for yourself with the link down in my description below using promo code DUMG for 25% off. 
Again, promo code DUMG, prop stock cash for 25% off. It's only going to be $15 for your first month, which is pretty good compared to some other player prop research tools. They have all these sports, as you can see right here, a ton of different data points that I even looked at. You can change the minute filter there. You can change the field goal made, uh, potential assists right there, attempts. There's a lot of really cool things on this board that uh, I recommend taking a look at on props.cash. All right, let's get to our second player prop here. And that second player prop is going to be Chris Middleton, over 20 and a half points plus assists. I like this line a lot. I think it's a really, really nice payout right now. It's like a 1.87X right now on chalkboard, minus 105 on DraftKings. Pretty damn good price in my opinion, and I don't really understand this line. So Chris Middleton and his points plus assists here. Let's take a look at props.cash and kind of what it's looking like today. So over 51% of games, we can see all the red there and all the green here. So it's been a tale of two seasons right here for Chris Middleton. But uh, in his last few games here, he's been really, really good over in eight of his last 10. However, he's coming off of an injury. And in these two games, he's come off of an injury. He's had 29 and 28 points plus assists. This game right here, though, was, I believe, without Giannis. I think Giannis and Dame were in this one, if I'm not wrong, against Phoenix. But uh, you see what his minutes were like here. He only saw 26 minutes in that game, 33 minutes in that game. But with him playing 33 minutes last game, I'm thinking he's not going to have any sort of minute limit or anything like that. I think he goes right back to his normal 28 or more minutes. And when he sees 28 plus minutes, he's over in 79% of games. Crazy good hit rate. I don't understand this line. And, you know, three of those losses right there were all like in 2023. And we're in 2024 right now. So all these games in 2024, he's only missed twice. He also sees a pretty good track record when at home. He's over in 82% of home games. Nine out of 11 are those. And both those losses, by the way, were back in 2023. So it was a little bit earlier this year. Uh, in games where they win, by the way, goes up quite a bit as well to 85%. They are facing the Thunder today. So it probably will be a pretty competitive game. Although uh, Milwaukee is favored by, I believe, three points today so you know three and a half point favorites there for milwaukee i think it should be pretty good there's a decent chance that they get the win today with three days of rest he's over in one out of two but both those games were back in 2023 so not really caring too much about that if you care about him on sundays by the way too he's over in one out of one with those 28 plus minutes but just in games and on a sunday though he's two for two so i mean yeah it's just a really simple breakdown here for chris middleton i think the matchup here against uh, oklahoma is not too bad either uh, if you take a look at uh, the points per game that they allow to small forwards, uh, this is in the last seven games, they've allowed 22.36 points per game. And then the assists here, they are allowing kind of in the middle of the pack, allowing 3.82, but they are pretty tough on the rebounds, which is kind of the reason why I went points plus assist here. I don't hate the spot for his PRA. I know it's been bumped up a lot on sports books. They've been killing that but i think 20 and a half points plus assists is a really nice line uh by the way on DraftKings, he's, he's at a really nice price points bet he's at a, actually a minus 115 over 19 and a half so if you have points bet i mean that's a pretty good spot too but then like bet mgm he's like minus 140 over 20 and a half so lines are crazy compared to all the sports books they do not know what to do with chris middleton for some reason i just think it's pretty straightforward uh you know, Chris Middleton should have a pretty good game today. Again, if you guys have not already, check out the Dub Club two-day free trial down to my description below. You guys can get in two days for free, get access to my Discord chat, all of that. So winnings are right there. You can see right there that I'm very reputable. I've been a consistent winner. Not every single day is going to be a winning day. Obviously, I have my bad days, I have my bad weeks. Even sometimes I have a bad month. But I've been consistent posting all my plays over on the Dub Club. And you guys see right there that I've just built my winnings. And I posted all of that over in the Dub Club. If you guys want a really cool player prop research tool, check out the Daily Grind Optimizer and the Correlation tool. All you have to do with this tool is click the refresh button. And when you press that button, it pulls up the best suspected value plays on that player prop site. You guys see right here all the different options they have and all the different apps that they have right here that can help you find some value. So if you're looking for like on prize picks, you're looking for like a two-pick power play, you filter it down and find plays that fit into that type of play. So it gives you just straight up the best value right now on the prize picks board. Really awesome tool right here. If you want it for yourself, use that link down in my description below. Use the promo code DMG. That will get you 25% off of your first month. There's, by the way, three tools wrapped into one. That was only one tool that I showed you. They have two other tools included right here, the, the middling tool and fan score projection tool, but I personally love the optimizer. Also by the same guys though, and sold separately is the correlation tool, which is up 917.1 units since August 18th. A lot of really cool options on this tool. They don't have correlated plays on the board because they don't have like the NHL board on the board, which is uh, one of the most correlated sports out there. But they do have also these plus EV entries, which literally gives you an entry on prize picks here. So it tells you to lock in a five pick flex here. It's plus EV with a profit margin of 14.8% really damn good value right there at a 14.8 percent profit margin right there and it's plus ev so this looks like a pretty damn good entry right there there's a free play right there from the correlation tool you can check out this tool for yourself though with the link down in my description below make sure you click on dfs correlation and then use that promo code dmg because you're going to need it it is definitely on the more expensive side thank you for watching i'll see you hopefully in tomorrow's video best of luck tonight i'll see you guys over in the dub club and in tomorrow's video